Namaste. In this video, I am going to show how to type Vedic symbols using Baraha. So, in this video, I have used Baraha version 9.3 which you can get on internet. If Baraha is installed on your system, you will get these three icons Baraha Direct, Baraha Pad and Baraha. So, to type Baraha in any other softwares apart from Baraha Pad, we have to take the help of Baraha Direct. So just double click on Baraha Direct, you will get EN icon highlighted in the system tray. So make sure EN is highlighted with green color background because already one EN is provided which indicates by default computer keyboard. So this EN is belongs is related to Baraha. Just right click on this icon, you will get Baraha options. So there choose language then Sanskrit so if once again go to there if Unicode is selected here you can use Unicode Sanskrit language in any other application just like Internet Explorer Chrome uh, MS Word like this but to type Vedic fonts we are going to take the help of ANSI since certain Vedic characters are not appearing properly in Unicode so just click in and see then open Microsoft Word that may be 2003 2007 or 2010 any of the versions first what we have to do is go to font dialog box properties or you you can invoke it with the shortcut key Control D now in the font selection property there will be a font which belongs to Baraha called as BRH Devanagari extra sorry brh devanagari here you need to choose extra this extra refers to vedic symbols each and every language supported by baraha contains two versions ansi and unicode in ansi baraha devanagari is the regular font baraha devanagari extra which we are going to use with vedic fonts remember one thing this extra will be added for each and every languages followed by Kannada, Telugu, Marathi like this. For example, in Kannada extra, you can get Vedic fonts in Kannada font. So like this, Malayalam extra, Malayalam font with Vedic symbols. Telugu extra, Telugu fonts with Vedic symbols. Like this, here what we are going to do is, we are choosing Devanagari extra to indicate Vedic symbols. So just choose Baraha Devanagari extra then click on ok now make sure that baraha is working in background or not just observe here it is selected as en where en refers to english just press function key 11 f11 so that it will be turned to sa sa refers to sanskrit once again we are going to check whether it is uh, click we have checked the option and see followed by the language just right click here ANSI is turned on then go to languages Sanskrit is turned on so basic platforms are ready now we are going to type in Sanskrit I am going to type Baraha Sanskrit for example I am going to type Sahasra so this is the regular Devanagari symbol but to put Vedic symbols we we are going to use three characters extra that is called as Anudatta, Udatta and Swarita. Anudatta will be represented using character at which can be invoked through shift 2. Then Udatta will be indicated using hash. Then dollar symbol is used to identify Swarita symbol. So wherever these symbols are required, we are going to choose, choose we are going to invoke these characters for example, in Sahasra, I want to put Anudatta after the Akshara Sa. So just to type Sa, then Shift 2, which will produce Sa with Anudatta symbol. Then once again, Ha will be typed in normal symbol. To type Sra, Udatta symbol use, is used. So just first type Sra, then to get Udatta symbol, use hash symbol so that you can get the upper Udatta symbol then to type 
then to type uh, swarita symbol which we are going to context which we are going to indicate in the next uh, line for example uh, i am going to type sarvam where this uh, makara will be highlighted with swarita which can be invoked through dollar mark and you can put full stop Apart from these three characters, everything which are related to type in Devanagari will be same as Unicode. Here we are using ANSI. So what we have to remember is ANSI font is system dependent. Suppose if you are going to send this MS Word file to anybody else, they should have Baraha font, Baraha font, especially Baraha Devanagari extra. If they don't have Baraha Devanagari extra, they uh, it will be difficult to recognize these characters so if you are going to mail this to somebody else i suggest you to use i suggest you to mail baraha devanagari extra font with that mail so that they can install th install the font and they can see what they have typed so i want to i am here to explain uh, how to in use these character just by taking the help of uh, purusha sukta once again sa followed by anudatta so shift a then h a then s r a for sahasra and to put udatta i am going to use shift sorry hash sorry hash okay then sh once again shir sha then for uh, to put that anudatta symbol i am using shift a next puru once again i want to use udatta symbol so shift hash so that you can get that upper mark then s h a a purushaha okay then put full stop so this is how we can type vedic fonts using baraha why we cannot use unicode the reason is this uh, uh, the last mark what we have called a swarita symbol it is not getting a properly it is not going to display properly in unicode font so for that purpose we are using ansi font so if you don't want that swarita mark or if you are going to highlight within some other ways you can use unicode fonts so once you have typed this in baraha you can convert the same into unicode within a fraction of seconds so for example now i am going to convert the same to unicode font so just to copy this copy whatever you have typed using baraha devanagari extra with vedic symbol then go to uh, baraha what is installed in your uh, software baraha so there go to baraha tools so here one of the option what we have provided is font con sorry baraha convert so just click here so this utility will be used to convert from ANSI fonts to Unicode fonts. So here you have to choose the language in which you have typed. So currently we have taken the example of Sanskrit. So I am going to choose Sanskrit here. Then what we have copied now, it is typed in ANSI font. So just paste what you have copied from MS Word and paste it here. Then it is to be converted to Unicode. So that will be represented by the downer box box which is provided in the bottom section so that so just click on this uh, left arrow mark then once again you need to put the you need to click on the right color uh, arrow mark to get the unicode of this one now the text what you have typed in uh, ANSI is converted to unicode so you can copy this and uh, you can paste it in MS Word now this is the unicode equivalent of what you have typed in ANSI now this is system dependent I mean to say unicode is system independent you can use this in uh, browsers so just observe one thing those Vedic marks which are indicated sub efficiently or which are indicated properly in uh, ANSI font it is not going to indicate properly or exactly 100% as it is in Unicode. So for this purpose, we are going to take the help of ANSI fonts only. So these 
the advantages of ANSI fonts is you can get these Vedic symbols in any other languages. For example, same Purusha Sukta can be written in Telugu language using these Vedic marks by choosing the font called as BRH Telugu Extra and changing the language here. Just uh, click on here or here you need to choose the Telugu mark. So that's it. If you have any doubt, please free to ask me. Thank you.